dear students now we are going to discuss the comparison of multiple access techniques in satellite communication in satellite communication when two or more earth stations simultaneously access the satellite transponder that is called as multiple access technique so in this method the transponder is loaded with a large number of carriers from different earth stations at different locations so simply we can say the multiple access is the ability of a large number of earth stations to simultaneously interconnect their data through satellite here the data can be a voice data teletype fasimile tv links etc okay so this is called multiple access technique in satellite communication there are three basic types of multiple access techniques available frequency division multiple access simply fdma time division multiple access tdma and code division multiple access cdma okay so now we are going to discuss the comparison of these three types okay fdma is frequency division multiple access tdma is time division multiple access CDMA is code division multiple access. In frequency division multiple access, a single bandwidth is distributing among multiple earth stations by dividing it into sub channels. So here bandwidth is divided into multiple frequency bands. Okay. So the frequency is sharing. In time division multiple access method, it shares the time slot of transmission through the satellite so here the time is sharing among multiple earth stations in core division multiple access techniques it shares both bandwidth and time among multiple stations with a separate unique code sequence okay so in this one we can separate the signals by using the frequency band in tdma we can separate the signal by using the time slot here we can use code sequence okay so in this fdma each station is allotted with frequency band for all the time to send data so entire time is available here in this tdma there is a time slot given to each station to transmit the data so here entire frequency is available but the time is limited for each station okay so in this code division multiple access technique it allows each station to transmit data over the entire frequency for all the time okay so next here in this fdma code word is not required for the tdma also code word is not required but for this code division multiple access the code is very important because each user is assigned with a unique code sequence so this is the diagrammatic representation for fdma tdma and cdma so in this one here we can consider three earth stations so first earth station is assigned with a particular frequency second one is with this range and third one is in this range okay so in the common channel in the multiple access we can get the combined frequency bands as a single data do you understand this one so each earth station is allocated with the separate frequency band so in this time division multiple access here each station is allocated with a particular time slot during the time slot alone it can transmit the data okay in this code division multiple access here we are going to generate particular unique code sequence for each earth station so we are giving the data d1 to this earth station 1 so at the output side we can get d1 c1 along with the code sequence similarly we can have different data from different earth stations and finally in the common channel we can combine all the signals together do you all understand this one in fdma synchronization is not required but for this tdma synchronization is required 
between different earth stations okay because each station must aware of its beginning of time slot and the location of the time slot so synchronization is must for tdma but for this cdma it is not required okay so here this fdma uses continuous signals for data transmission tdma uses signals in burst that is digital signals okay for data transmission cdma uses entirely digital signals okay so here in this fdma it requires quad bands between adjacent bands to prevent that unwanted interference okay so here it requires quad bands this tdma requires quad time of the adjacent time slot to prevent the interference in time slots okay but here in this one it requires both quad band as well as quad time okay fdma has low data rate here it is medium data rate transmission cdma is a high data rate transmission okay so here it has limited cell capacity here also restricted cell capacity but in the cdma there is no capacity restrictions okay fdma is a high cost method tdma is a low cost method cdma has high installation cost and low operation cost okay so here fdma is less flexible method tdma is a moderate flexible here cdma is highly flexible method next advantages of fdma it is a simple and reliable method tdma is a flexible one and entirely digital method cdma is highly flexible it has soft signal handoff okay that is very important over here these two are having hard handoff signals but here soft handoff signal it is highly secured transmission that is the major advantage of cdma okay so next disadvantages fdma is inflexible that is where it is having very less flexibility in data transmission it has fixed frequency ranges okay here tdma requires quad space and synchronization problem in the data transmission here cdma it is a complex system okay it is not easy to install it is a complex system to deal with complex receivers okay so next one is applications so applications of fdma here it is widely used in telephone systems radio systems cable tv so here in gsm fdma is used along with the tdma okay so here gsm uses fdma in combination with tdma so next applications of tdma here digital cellular communication satellite system gsm is136 and iden these are the major applications of time division multiple access method and then cdma so it is widely used in cellular system gps personal communication service subscriber access control mechanism as well as the military satellite communication for secure transmission okay